Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about fish feeding system. So let's look at the example first. Fish feeding system. The system should dispense three types of food for five seconds every 15 seconds. It will dispense food only if there is movement of fishes in the near water. That means there will be a sensor which will detect the movement of fishes and then there will be three valves which will dispense three types of food one by one and the valve will remain open for five seconds each and then it will repeat this process again and again so for this example we will use normally open contacts normally closed contact we will be also using memory bits and timers like TP and T on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we need to go to PLC tags then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is start button and then we have one more input that is a sensor and then we have three outputs valve one so this is an output its address will be q 0.0, .0. and then we have valve two and valve three so these valves will be automatically fast here after that We'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing the ladder diagram. So firstly, I will zoom into it like this. I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be the start button. And then this uh, coil will be a memory bit. And this memory bit will get activated when start button is pressed and the sensor is activated that will sense the movement of fishes. And then this M0.0 .0 will be used here as normally open contact to turn on the valve 1. So this coil will be for valve 1 And then this valve one will operate for five seconds. For that, we will use a timer operation TP here. And the preset value for this TP will be five seconds. And then I will open the branch here, add a coil. So this will be valve two. So this valve two will operate when valve one is off. So I will insert a normally close contact that will represent valve one and valve 2 will turn on for 5 seconds. For that, we will use a timer operation TP and the preset value will be 5 seconds. And then, I will open the branch, add a coil and this coil is for valve 3. And this valve 3 will turn on when valve 1, when valve 1 and valve 2 are Closed. So this will represents valve 1 and this represents valve 2. And the valve uh, 3 will operate for 5 seconds. For that we will use a TP here and this TP the preset value will be 5 seconds. And then so there will be Valve 1 for 5 seconds, Valve 2 for 5 seconds and Valve 3 for 5 seconds. So there will be 15 seconds when valves are open. So I will insert a normally open contact and this will be M0.0 .0, and this M0.0 .0 will turn on one more uh, coil that is a memory bit M0.1 and it will turn on this M0.1 after 15 seconds. So this the preset value will be 15 seconds and this M1 will be used here here as normally closed contact so this will be M0.1 so this makes it in a loop so after 15 seconds 
So when start button is turned on and sensor gets activated, then M0.0 .0 gets through. And when M0.0 .0 gets through, firstly, if the valve 1 gets on, and when it gets off, then valve 2 gets on for 5 seconds. And when it gets off, the valve 3 gets on. And after 5 seconds, all the valves get off. And after 15 seconds, this M0.1 gets through. And when M0.1 gets through, M0.0 .0 gets off. And when M0.0 .0 gets off, this M0.1 gets off. And when M0.1 gets off, M0.0 .0 gets on again. And when M0.0 .0 gets on again, again the, these timers will start. The valve 1 gets on, the valve 2 gets on, and valve 3 gets on. So after 15 seconds, the preset value for this will be 30 seconds. 30 seconds. as after dispensing the uh, after dispensing the uh, type 3 4 it will wait for 15 seconds then again valve 1 will open i will start the simulation here Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU. Click on OK and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. Click on create. Go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. So here I will right click and then click on load project tag. So when I turn on the start button, nothing happens because there should be the moment of sensor, the moment of fissures. So the sensor will get activated if there is a moment in the fissures. So if there is movement in the fissures, this M0.0 .0 gets through and when it gets through this U0.0 valve gets on, then valve 2 gets open for 5 seconds, then valve 3 gets open for 5 seconds. Then it will wait for 15 seconds, and then uh, this M0.1 gets to, when M0.1 gets to, M0.0 gets off, and again this M0.1 gets off, and this M0.0 .0 gets on, and with that this valve 1 gets on again. So as you can see valve 1 got on then again valve 2 will get on and again then valve 3 will get on and after waiting for 15 seconds this valve 1 will get on again and again. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.